Get out your brass instruments, Jets fans, because Jacob Truba has signed for one year at $5.5 million, mostly because an arbitrator forced both parties to that deal. Which is interesting that they couldn't get a long-term deal going. This means the Jets have one more swing at the fence before Truba becomes a UFA, and they can try signing before while he's an RFA. So they're not going to have long to be able to make a nice long-term deal for him in place. I don't know if Trubu wants to stay there long-term. By the sounds of it, the arbitration was long and arduous and it was just horrendous to deal with. And then we got the result 48 hours later. Except it wasn't 48 hours, it was like 53 hours you lied to me, arbitrator. Who knew I had such strong views on arbitrators being late. They've had contract disputes before these two parties and... You just don't think a long-term deal is possible. Of course, what does this mean for the Leafs? Well, apparently all you idiots think that Trooper's going there along with every other trade. Carlson's going to... Oh, my... Oh, my... Could you imagine this in, in Toronto? You don't want this in Toronto. Can you imagine, like, a player not signing and then having to do all this with someone in Toronto? It would be like wall-to-wall -wall coverage. There'd be people out front of the arbitrator's house, just like, what's going on? It was reported the color of the car that Dubis left in after speaking with Tavares. Do we really want a contract dispute that's going to an arbitrator in Toronto? I say no. Just avoid that, because that's just going to be horrendous to deal with. But yes, he's totally worth $5.5 million. I think the arbitrator probably got it right between the disputed two parties. I, I really think sometimes they should just punish the teams being like, really? Like... You, you know, he, he would sign for that and, and you said no and you're offering him $4 million. Like, you know what, you can pay him 6.5 for a year because F you. Anyway, it's a second dispute. I, I don't see them resolving this from here. Like, I, you, you do it from one, you usually don't do it from the second one. Like, look at Ryan O'Reilly, for instance. Like, he just wasn't happy there and he moved to Buffalo and he wasn't happy there and then he moved to Ken. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, if they're in a cup runner, they're going to really trade Trooper away? Like, that's the thing. Like, it's great. Like, because they want to play, they can play now. Like, right now. Don't, don't you dare touch my motto. So, it will be interesting how it all works out. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be fascinating to see how this all shakes and where it ends up going. Anyway guys, if you did like this video, hit that like button. Otherwise hit subscribe on the road to 53. Just three of you now. That's insanity. You guys have been you guys have been crazy on the subs and I really do thank you. It really does put a smile on my dial every single time I get one. It really does give me the momentum to go on and do this the next day. Because it is it's tough when you work a full-time job and then you, you come home and you make videos and unlike the arbitrator. Which sounds like the worst Batman villain ever. I am the arbitrator. Jesus, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, guys, comment down below. Uh, what do you think of the deal? Do you think the Jets will be able to sign him long term? Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and... Bye.